Corel Draw has a great tool for working with bullets and a list. You can do a lot more here than you can in practically any other program I've ever run across. Let me just put in some items here. I'll do item 1, item 2, and so forth. There we go. And I'll just select these like that to select that text and go up to the text menu and bullets right here. In here you can choose to use bullets or not and they'll automatically be applied to the text that you have selected. There we go. Now by default it's going to grab this symbol, this little dot symbol, and it's going to pull that from wingdings if you're working on Windows. And it'll adjust the size. Now you can change the size of your dot, make it larger just by clicking on that and you can go for a larger dot size if that works out for you. You can move them up or down using this baseline shift and get the alignment exactly where you want it. You can adjust spacing in here. You know, text frame to bullet and bullet to text. I can increase the space between the bullets. You can be real specific on exactly where everything is positioned in here. And of course the preview allows you to do that. But we're not limited to just this plain dot. This is pulling us from a font and we can use any image in this wingding font. Click on that down arrow. There's a whole bunch of images in here. Let's use that thing for instance. There we go. Kind of strange looking thing. There's a little three pointed star thing. If I scroll up we have numbers. We have all kinds of symbols in here. There's little wavy flags. And we're also not limited to just this one font. You can choose any font on your system that has symbols in it. You know, a lot of these won't, but there are some that do. For instance, Webdings has symbols in it. Some real fancy, there's something for Valentine's Day. Let's just scroll down a little bit. Here's some aliens, little alien heads. They're a little too large, so make them smaller. There we go. And let's adjust the baseline shift back to zero again. So you know, any, any image that you have inside of any of your typefaces, you can go ahead and use that. Here's a symbol font right there. And we have you know, several of these wingding fonts. There's a pen, here's a telephone, a little pointing finger. So as you can see, it's, it's an amazingly robust and complete way of working with your bullets and again this is the best tool I found in any program for controlling and adjusting the look of your bullets inside of a text block. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.